we are all at different stages in our life. And there are uh, what, about 8 billion of us as of June uh, 2022 here in the world. And uh, yeah, all 8 billion of us are at different places in our mental journeys, in, in our worldviews, and in, in what we think is good and bad and right and wrong, and, and how we see the world around us. And I think that I have a pretty good handle on things. However, I'm also smart enough to realize that I'm probably wrong about a lot of things. And so are you. And so is your neighbor. And that's kind of my point is sometimes when I'm talking to people, I think, you know, what a useful idiot. Um, and the, the term uh, came about, I guess the Russians would use, the Soviet Union, uh, would talk about people who weren't that bright. But they would just kind of follow along with whatever they were told to do. And so then they were, by the people in power, they were called uh, useful idiots. And the useful idiot would you know, push forward bad things, even though they didn't realize what they were doing. And so I, I see people who are like that. I see people who watch the news, who vote, who are, have all of these ideas that I think are, are kind of weird and strange and messed up. And, and then I realize, no, I've got some of those too. And I think that we, we have these different stages in our journey. And I would say probably out of 8 billion people, at least 7 billion don't care about philosophy. They don't care about morality really that much. It's not that much of an interest. Um, many of them aren't that bright. Those who do have really high IQs, I know physicians and, and people who have a lot of formal education and probably would do really well if they took the, the Mensa test, that they probably do really well, but they don't have an interest in philosophy, morality, that kind of stuff, logic, reason, etc. And so instead, they focus on other things in life, and that's where they are on their journey. Maybe they're going to stay there forever. I think a huge portion of people will stay there forever. And so there are only going to be between, the, uh, you know, a couple hundred and a couple hundred thousand to maybe people who really search for truth. And, and I'm not going to call somebody a search truth theory if they accept the same religion that their parents and grandparents had. They accept the same government that their parents and grandparents had, and they, they accept the same sports team. They're rah, rah, rah for the, the Raiders, Jesus Christ, and the U.S. government. Woo! Constitution. No, that's not a, that, that person is not a thinker. However, they're at a different stage in their journey. And I, I'm counseling patience, and I'm saying this to myself, not just you. Patience is so important. I, I'm there in some areas. I'm, I've been for a couple of years, I've been really more and more looking at this whole veganism thing, not from a health standpoint, I might be helpful there, but I am so resistive to veganism because I love eating meat. And I think even a bigger reason is that I, I hate the United Nations quite a good bit, and they really want me to be a plant-based person. They want me to be a vegan. And so I'm resistive of that, even though many of the United Nations things that they've encouraged like traffic circles. Well, yeah, it's a bad organization saying that that's what should happen. However, traffic circles are kind of neat. They really work well. And so I, I guess I'm saying have patience with me, my vegan brethren and sisters. Um, if I am not uh, all the way there yet, maybe I never will be, maybe I will be, but we are at different stages. And so I am going to try to have patience with you if you still think that if I don't vote, I can't complain, nah, I was once at that stage in my journey. And so I forgive you for not being as far along as I am in some areas, and I hope you forgive me for not being as far along as you are in other areas. And you know what we just might discover is that we are both <laughs> wrong about the areas that we have gone further than the other person has. Who, who really knows? Let's keep thinking. Let's keep talking. Um, let's keep hashing it out and calling each other on things. As you know, I will only do that under certain uh, parameters. I'm kind of strict that way. If we're not going to use logic and reason and, and the scientific method and that kind of thing, then I'm not really interested in just jaw jacking. Uh, but please, if you see I'm in error uh, in, in some of my thinking, please let me know. Uh, suggest, hey, Shepard, why don't you cover such and such on your channel or whatever? I'm happy to cover stuff. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe below. Look forward to seeing you pretty soon.